Hi, I'm Jimmy Fee with another Northeast Offshore Fishing Report brought to you by Sirius XM. This week, the big tournament taking place is out of Atlantic City, New Jersey, and that is the Jimmy Johnson Quest for the Ring Offshore Tournament. Now, up until Thursday, it had been all tuna, so kind of a slower start to the tournament. A lot of tuna in that 40 to 70 pound range yellowfin, a couple big eye pushing 200 pounds. But then on Thursday, guys started bringing in some billfish. I know the top blue marlin right now is 568 pounds. They've weighed in a couple white marlin. And none particularly big there, but some of the 60, uh, I think high 60 pound range is what's leading the white marlin category. There have also been some big mahi-mahi being caught. I've heard of them up to 30 pounds coming out of those southern canyons. And also on Thursday, some bigger yellowfin tuna seemed to show up in those southern canyons. Guys caught them up to 114 pounds. And that's something that's really really grown. We've talked about this in previous reports that we're seeing more of these big yellowfin. And that is just, it, I, I think that's so cool. Once the yellowfin get to about a hundred pounds, you've got a better shot of seeing the ones with the long sickle fins that you call the Allison tuna. And that's kind of been a trend the last couple of years. We've been even seeing some of those real big ones on the midshore grounds. Speaking of the midshore bite, there is a good midshore yellowfin tuna bite happening off New Jersey, off Long Island, and guys are catching them on jigs and poppers. And that continues to go strong inshore in new jersey there's still some good bluefin tuna you know kind of off the northern end of the state and a lot of them have been showing up in less than 100 feet of water so when you see tuna in those shallow depths it's kind of a double-edged sword it's great to have them just a short run from the inlets but when they're in less than 100 feet of water they can be maddeningly finicky really picky but i know guys are still managing to pick them up using uh, paddle tails some on poppers but it seems like the soft plastics the paddle tails have been the better bet i know the guys attack watermen have been doing pretty well with the hoagie uh pro tails moving up to new england there's still good blue fin fishing south of Martha's Vineyard and off Rhode Island. The guys that are hitting those kind of mid-shore tuna grounds there. Now, the hotspot for those first couple weeks of July had been the dump area, and it seems like that's cooled off a bit. Now, the tuna have not moved out. They're still in there. We've got to move around a little bit, check some other structures and find them. I know boats with a good network, boats that are moving around and looking for that life, especially the whales, they're the ones staying on those blue fin. Now, east of Chatham on Cape Cod, the recreational size bluefin fishing kind of tapered off, but it seems like the giants really stormed in force this week. A lot of commercial fishermen brought some 100 inch, you know, fish up to 600 pounds to the dock this week. And that was the fish were caught on live mackerel and there were even some caught on light tackle jigs and stick baits. So if you uh, if you're loaded for bear and you want to shot at a giant bluefin tuna, seems like the waters east of Chatham are going to be your best bet this week. Now, in terms of the top water fishing for the smaller tuna north of Cape Cod and, you know, kind of in that Stellwagen area off Provincetown has not been too much word on that in the last couple of days. It's not like last year. Last year, it seemed like the entire month of July. As soon as you got to July 1st, there was a raging tuna feed happening in the close waters off Cape Cod. That has not materialized yet this year. Now, it could still happen if you see some half beaks move in. That usually kind of reinvigorates that bite. It's kind of like an August thing, late July thing. With tuna fishing, it's all about finding the bait. And right now, that bait's been sand eels out deep. Whether you're south of the vineyard, whether you're east of Chatham, the bluefin have been all over sand eels. Now, we talked about the white marlin in the southern canyons off New Jersey, the ones that were weighed in for the Jimmy Johnson tournament. Now, guys are actually running into some inshore, you know, on their way in from the canyons uh, up in New England in that south of the vineyard inshore tuna grounds. Guys are seeing some white marlin, and that's not uncommon this time of year. Sometimes you'll see them on a calm day just finning on the surface. They can be pretty picky, but we saw a great video on Instagram by Matthew Bach. They ran into a finning white marlin that was chasing what looked like half beaks. They pitched a Joe Bags resin jig at it and actually took a swipe at it. I've seen those white marlin stack up south of the vineyard like that on the way in. I've never had any success on getting them to uh, to chase lures, but I've heard certain live baits. I've heard soft plastic stick baits. You know, you just got to get a fish that's in the right mode and ready to eat, and, and you might have a shot at, you know, kind of a really cool light tackle white marlin. But again, the guys who are doing that are kind of tight-lipped, but it's not an uncommon sight. So on your way in from the tuna crowns, keep your eyes peeled for those, uh, those finning white marlin. You might get a uh, pretty spectacular catch. Now, the weather's continuing to look good through the weekend and into next week. I know there's another big tournament happening off Block Island. That's the Tri-State Offshore Tournament. So, you, you know, a lot of boats are going to be hitting those eastern canyons and also, you know, potentially down to Hudson Canyon. So we'll get a good read on what's going on there, especially on the billfish and big eye front as uh, those big boats go out and they look for for a big payday. 
Thanks for checking out this week's Offshore Fishing Report. I know Anthony didn't have a chance to join us today. I wish I could say he's offshore, but I think he's uh, he's at home on uh, on kid duty. We're hoping to get out there in the next couple of days. The fishing looks great. The weather's great. So whether you're, you're leaving out of New Jersey all the way on, on up to Massachusetts, there's a lot of tuna and they're not a far run from shore. So get out there, enjoy the weather, and uh, thanks for watching.